back everyone now many games this week have playoff implications one of them is southeast at Booker SNN's Lynn Blake takes a close look at our game of the week Booker's 28 to 21 loss to southeast in 2016 is a game Dumaga Atkins is ready to forget last year was uh, it was rough uh, we wanted a, a different ending plot twist New Year, same story. Playoffs are on the line. We've been feeling good. We're trying to keep the energy up. Southeast undefeated until last week's loss to Hardy. Now, six Seminole players suspended after a scuffle in the handshake line. It's been a long week with these kids with everything that happened last week at Hardy. So I'm sure they're just ready to go play another game just so we can start talking about, you know, the Booker game and not continue to dwell on what happened last week. Southeast staying positive, even though the six guys are out for the rest of the regular season. We have a lot of seniors on the team to uh, group up the younger kids, and um, I, I believe we'll bounce back real nice this week. The Tornadoes have touched down in their district, winning three straight after moving to Lee Keaton back to receiver. When I was at quarterback at the beginning of the season, it wasn't going too well, so we just put Jermaine so he can get the ball to me, and he runs he runs the offense better than me anyways. We're all coming together, you know, everybody's starting to execute the right way. Atkins respecting all Coach West has accomplished with Southeast. He's a good dude, man. He's a good coach. He has those guys going in the right direction. They're, um, they're playing good football. They just uh, slipped up against Hardy last week. When it's all said and done, it's a district rivalry. Both teams will play four quarters of hard-nosed football with postseason dreams in reach. It is us, and we, we've always had like a little rivalry with them. But uh, our offense, I feel like we're going to put up some points, and our defense is always nice. Homecoming game, and yeah, it's our, this determines playoffs or not. So yeah, it's a big game for us. Reporting for our Game of the Week, I'm Lyndon Blake.